legged position, place your hands next to your hips, lift your chest. If it's comfortable for you, you can press your knees into the car, but lift your hips up. And then lower your seat down, spiral over to the right with the flat back, look at the ballet bar behind you. And then spiral over to the other side, look at the ballet bar behind you. And now move your mats two thirds off the wall, one third on the floor for flat back. And if you have uh, hip flexor sheets, you can put a riser mat into your pod, onto your mat, or if you need more height. You can take an underhanded or overhanded grip of the bar, whichever option you take. Keep your elbows pointed towards the center of the room. Yeah. Keep your shoulders pressed down. Uh, place your legs parallel to each other. Press your toes towards the center of the room until you feel like your toes are going to come off. Flex your feet and bring your heels together and your toes apart. Exhale sharply, draw your heel in towards your spine. Exhale, 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 exhale. Now lift your right leg up and down and then your left. Right and left. Right and left. Focus more on your breathing than the leg motion. If you need more of a challenge, you can lift both of your heels off of the floor or hover them for the next 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, lower your heels down, speed it up. Right, left, right, left. Lower great breathing. Option again to hover both your legs off the floor for the next test. One, two, three, four, five. Else in great control. Seven, eight, nine, lower your heels down. Open your feet to mount with a part. And parallel, draw your legs in, in, in. Wiggle back if you wiggle the way at all. Exhale sharply as your legs come in. Exhale, exhale. Option to hover both your legs up for the next 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, lower your heels down, tap, tap, and open. Tap, tap, open. Tap, tap, open. Option again, to hover both your knees, or your knees, your heels, off the floor for the last 10. One, tap, tap, open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, release. Come off your mat for a stretch. Come into a straddle stretch. So turn to face uh, me this way towards the window on profile. Extend your legs out to the side. Flex your feet. Place your hands next to your hips. Lift your chest. If you need more of a stretch, you can reach your fingertips forward. Keep your legs completely extended straight. And then slowly come up. Bring your legs together. Come onto your knees for a hip flexor stretch. Step your left leg forward. Keep a 90 degree angle on both of your legs. Place your hands onto your waist. Roll your seat. Squeeze your glutes. Punch your right arm in front of you. Hinge slightly forward at your bottom, uh, at your waist. As you tuck more, raise your right arm up. Feel a nice stretch along your hip flexor. Release, switch sides. Step your right leg forward. Place your hands onto your waist. Tuck your seat, squeeze your glute. Punch your left arm in front of you. As you tuck more, raise your left arm up. Just slightly back, yeah. And release. Bring your mats to the center of the room. Or curl. If you need any mini mats, they're in the center of the room. We'll grab them some more. Place the short end of your mat facing the window. And then sit at the edge of your mat. First set of curls is going to be kickstand curls. So place your legs hip width apart and parallel. And then come down onto your elbows. Try to 
Try to scout yourself to yourself to your view of yourself in the side mirror. Keep your elbows directly under your shoulders. Tuck your seat, roll your tailbone under, plank your lower back more into the mat. Keep your chest lifted. Press your upper chest more forward for isometric curl. Hold that curl. Now begin to tuck, tuck, tuck. Layer tuck on top of the tuck you already have. You keep your shoulders exactly where they are. You have the option to lift both of your elbows up off the mat for the next 10 tucks. Tuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower your elbows back down. Hold your tuck and now curl forward. Curl. Curl. You're holding your tuck and curling more and more forward each time. Don't release your curl. Layer it on top of the one you have. Continue here. I should open a little bit further back so it's direct more under your shoulders. Yes. And tuck your seat more. So roll your tailbone more up the other way towards you. So like this. You're like here. So roll it this way. Yes. There you go. And contract your abs. Curl forward. Curl forward. That's better. Option to lift both of your elbows up for the next 10 curls. Curl one, two, Shana, Lorraine, I love the option you took. Nice, D, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower your elbows back down. Tuck and curl. Tuck, curl. Re-tuck, curl forward even more. Layer these motions on top of you totally. Get into your six pack abs. Option again to lift both elbows off the floor for the next 10. Tuck, curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower your elbows back down. Re tuck your seat. Curl forward. Hold this position. And now exhale sharply. Exhale. 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 Just the isometric hold to finish. Kick stand curl. Option to lift both elbows off the floor for the last 20. Exhale. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release your elbows down. Arch your back for a quick counter stretch. And stay on your elbows. Keep your legs where they are. Reach forward for a quick set of low curl. Hold about mid-thigh. If you're using any mini mats for back support, it goes at the bottom part of your ribs. Do you need mini mats? Okay. Stay here. Low curl. There is no actual active curl motion. Just hold here and exhale. Round your elbows away from you like a ballroom dancer. Start with sharp exhales. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Option to release both of your hands to the side of your thighs for 10 exhales. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold back on. Curl yourself a little bit more. Come lower. Pull back onto the back of your thighs. Now slow down your breath. Exhale. Exhale. Press your navel down towards your spine each time you exhale. Exhale. Cassandra, come a little bit lower. Yeah, it's much better. Option to hover your hands over your knees for 10 Slow exhales. Exhale one, two, three, four. Or come a little bit higher. Yeah, much better. Seven, eight, nine. Hold back on. 
Hold on. Zip your feet together. Extend your legs all the way to a pike position. Hold here. Hold your isometric curl forward. And now exhale, exhale, exhale sharply. Sharp, sharp, sharp breaths. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Point your toes. Keep your elbows rounded. You may have rocked a little bit further back on your back, uh, but that's okay. So you lower your hands a little bit more. Continue exhaling. Option to release both hands for 30 or do 15 and 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Second, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really. Interlace your hands behind your neck. Bring your elbows out to the side. Then keeping your knees up close to your chest, carry your knees over towards the left to stretch out your right obliques first. And then slowly come back to center one leg at a time and go over to the other side. Bring your knees up closer to your chest. And then continue rolling onto your stomachs for a counter stretch. You can either do cobra or cat stretch. We'll walk you through cobra. Lay on your mat with your legs parallel. Squeeze your glutes together. Place your hands under your shoulders with your elbows pointed back. As you inhale, press into the mat. Lift your chest up. You exhale, lower your chest down. And come into a child's pose. Press yourself back as your seat comes to your heels. You keep your arms extended forward. Or rather, you bring it to the side of your feet, open your palms up. And then slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. We're back dancing. Sit at the edge of your mat. Rest your upper body all the way down. Keep your legs parallel to each other. Hip width apart. Your upper body is all done, so it's cool down with your upper body. It's going to burn out the rest of your glutes. So tuck your seat up to your deepest tuck. Hold here. Now that you're tucked, tuck, 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 tuck. Eliminate any tension in your shoulders, in your feet, even in between your eyebrows. Thank you. 